The difference between being sad and being clinically depressed is really the length and severity of the sadness and how it affects your life. If you're sad, it'll be a relatively short period of time and you'll be able to, you know, return to your normal personality and get enjoyment out of things you normally do. Where someone who's depressed, it's over a lengthy period of time and it has a more severe effect on their daily life. They may be less productive at work or may not even go to work and, and stay in bed. Or in terms of social relationships, it may have a negative effect on the relationship with a loved one. One challenge with depression is that it exists on a spectrum. Depression associated with, with PTSD, there's very dramatic changes in the brain. But you know, a lot of times mild and moderate depression isn't as visible as something like cancer where you can, you know, image a tumor. One of the difficulties with that is that part of the nature of the disease is that you become less social. And so that's going to uh, make it very difficult for you to reach out and get treatment or even possibly realize that you need treatment because you've retreated so much within yourself. What other people could see is just antisocial behavior, interpret that as you being unfriendly. Many people do realize it's a disease, but at the same time, people have this notion that most behavior is entirely within your control and there just needs to be kind of ongoing understanding that people simply can't make something happen in their brain necessarily. It's oftentimes a very long process of finding the right therapy and or medication.